New at 5, Governor Lamont is proposing a few tax breaks, and this includes property taxes and what you pay on your car. It could make a difference for those on a fixed income. Chief political reporter Susan Raff is live in South Windsor, where the governor is pushing his tax plan. Susan. Hey, yeah, Connecticut is in good financial shape, which is always good to hear, and that's why the main reason why Governor Lamont feels that this is the time to give people a tax break, and it will save people some money, but some are questioning how long will it last. I think they should. People are going through a lot of things. I think they should uh, consider something that benefits the middle class people. You know. Ask people what they think of a tax break, and the answer is yes. Connecticut is considered an expensive state to live in, add to that inflation and economic challenges. I know the governor has put much thought and work into the plan he is here today for. And South to Windsor's mayor is on board with the governor's tax proposals, a $300 property tax credit, a mill rate cap of 29 for car taxes, and tax-free 401ks and pensions. We got to make sure that people who love our state can afford to stay in our state. The car tax proposal will save those in South Windsor over $200 a year. Well, I think this is, is a great step in, in helping um, build a predictable and better yet reduced tax burden for our older residents. Governor Lamont is also proposing a 29 cent cut in the gas tax. In South Windsor, tax cuts will mean a loss in revenue. But Lamont says the state will give cities and towns the difference. Connecticut has a habit of making promises that we ha that we end up breaking, and people grow to rely on a property tax credit. Whether these cuts are sustainable, people want them. This is a very difficult state to live in and to thrive in with the tax rates so very high. And that goes across the board from income taxes to these property taxes. And because of that, people our age that have raised our kids are moving. Now, Governor Lamont says he is convinced that there is enough money, and as he called it, to go way into the future. But at this point, people are concerned because, again, Connecticut lawmakers have promised things and sometimes that doesn't come through. And with all of these proposed tax cuts, the legislature must still weigh in on all of that and vote on it. We are live tonight in South Windsor. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Now, Channel 3, early warning.